Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can use just a little bit of custom CSS to display two blog posts per row on a mobile device. Now, in this tutorial, we're using codes that are specific for the grid type of blog setup in Squarespace 7.1. If you're using a masonry or a side-by-side, -side, alternating side-by-side, -side, this code will not work for that layout. This is specific for a grid blog post setup, okay? Awesome. Now, as always, the codes are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how they work. So here we are in my demo site, and I have just a basic blog here with all of the filler content. It has thumbnail, a meta description, title, excerpt, and the read more button enabled. And it's set up to show a grid, three posts per row. If I hop into the mobile preview, we'll just see one at a time. And the code we're going to use today will actually create two columns of blog posts, or will display two columns of blog posts per row. So to add this code, we're going to hop into design and scroll down to custom CSS. Now I'm going to press Control-V on my keyboard, and we'll scroll down, and it looks like nothing happened. I'm going to select Save, and we're going to hop out of here. This is a weird little glitch that's going on with Squarespace. Looks like nothing happened, but I assure you, the code worked. So if I hop out of my CSS panel, and I reload the website again, and then I click on the mobile preview, if we scroll down, we'll actually see two posts per row. So for some strange reason, inside the design panel under custom CSS, it looks like our code didn't work. It looks a little messy. I'm not sure why that's happening at the time of recording this, but if you're having that same problem, don't worry, it actually worked. Take a look at the site preview from any page outside of your custom CSS panel. Now really quickly, one thing I wanna show you, this number two is telling it to create two per row. Change that to three if you want to have three images or whatever you'd like. Grid column gap is the space between the elements or the blog items, I should say, and row gap is the space between, you guessed it, the rows. So definitely update that however you see fit for your own site. But again, after you add this to custom CSS, you need to hop out of that design menu, refresh your page, so it'll load the custom CSS file again, and then click on your mobile preview, and then you'll see the actual change happen. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. And again, the codes I just shared are listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video, be sure to like and comment below and subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial about Squarespace every single Tuesday. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.